Hello everyone, Man Avengers here, and it's time for another episode of This Week in Keyboards. Let's take a break from all this crazy heat and talk about the news because there's only so many times in a day you can tell each cashier, coworker, online acquaintance, and customer, it sure is hot today, isn't it? Let's start with our one and only spotlight topic for this week. It's the news that GMK Analog Dreams is running until the 25th of this month. So yeah, just a couple more days. I didn't cover it last week and that was my mistake, but I want to cover it now because it's a well-loved set by p 3. The Digital Nightmares version is definitely the absolutely best version in my opinion, and I think you'd be crazy not to get it. I mean, I'm kind of crazy because I'm not getting it, but damn, it looks decent. Unfortunately, with how things are as they are right now, the set won't be shipped out until Q2 of next year. So that's $125 you won't see a return on or any physical proof of until then. And if you like it, which you should, you should consider going for it over at Novel Keys. Wow, so it sure is hot today. <laughs> you didn't see that, did you? That's what rapid fire looks like. <laughs> QE Labs Macro Board V2 is for those who like knobs used sensibly, which is in a macro pad. Next up is the IFK Easy Mode, which is obviously inspired by a certain Overwatch character. I like the set, but IFK isn't exactly three letters that inspire confidence. Mm. Next up we have EPBD Scandi, which is currently running on Thawkeys, and you know what? You know what? It looks fun. It looks inoffensively Scandinavian. The Frog TKL is our next spotlight topic. That will end up as a spotlight topic next week because it's Gon's new uh, next TKL. If you're not already excited, then you might want to get excited because it's a decent looking board at a decent looking price. The Emperor 75% is demonstrative proof you should definitely have a prototype in hand before you post an interest check. Hmm. The Dami Key Gift Triple Shot Cherry Keycaps are interesting because most importantly, Dami Keys wants to give the world another triple shot option because who the hell knows where JTK is with theirs. The Equinox XL will probably be the best sub 60% of the year. I mean, for real, just, just look at it. It's, it's, the proof is in the pudding. The Samus, Samice, is the Alice from Sam's Studio. If you're an enthusiast who hasn't hopped on the Alice train yet, here's a late departure you can still join in on if it doesn't seem too sus for you. Hmm. The Alluvia was posted by Novel Keys and it's literally an all aluminum Olivia set. My wallet cries. $350 for a TKL set. Ooh. The Duo S group buy has ended, but I just wanted to let you know it was a reasonably attractive idea for a 65%. GMK Lychee or Lychee is currently running on Mexico and in terms of the Lychee colorway, not too shabby. Williams Neuromantic are glow-in-the-dark PBT cherry keycaps that would fit right in with the 90s hacker's aesthetic. I'm in. The Keychron Q1 is basically Keychron's entry into the, into the pissing contest against PCGR. The open source sw switch breaker machine doesn't break switches, but breaks in switches. Might want to fix that naming scheme. Could be cool for scientific key testing uses, in my opinion. The Oni FRL TKL doesn't have many comments because instead of embedding pictures in your post like a normal human being, you have to click through to Imager to view the photos. What kind of reptilian person kind of does that? It looks fine, I guess. The Extreme 75% isn't exactly what I'd call a 75%, more like a mini 980, but that floated top row actually makes me feel pain. The Flame 60% from Clap Studio makes me wish it was much worse so I could make a joke about the clap, but there's actually nothing terribly wrong with it. Yet. GMK Track Day looks decent, and if you told me it was a beep set, I'd believe you. It's a beep set, by the way, just in case you didn't know. GMK Cinder should stop doing what it's trying to do to those modifiers, otherwise it should just end up in cinders. So got it. GMK, not GMK, CAT, Great Wave is a great wave of nope, because it's another gradient set. MG Salmon isn't horrible, but it also isn't amazing. Has anyone actually used the MG profile? I haven't, and I'm still a bit curious about it. Last but not least, the CU, CU1 is a knob, actually that is the least. 
This isn't even a keyboard. Get this the hell out of here. Well, that's it for this week in keyboards. More videos coming soon enough. Click that sub button, clack that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. But don't forget, keep on keyboarding. Thank you for watching.